Igor Bogdanov is once again at the center of the latest DJI leak wave, and this time he's giving us our clearest look yet at the upcoming DJI Osmo Pocket 4. Right after an unofficial teaser video surfaced online, Igor Bogdanov dropped a fresh batch of outdoor testing photos that instantly grabbed the attention of the camera community. His shots look cleaner, sharper, and far more revealing than anything we've seen in the last few weeks, confirming once again that the Pocket 4 is going to be a very different beast compared to the Pocket 3. From the teaser alone, the Pocket 4 already stands out. The camera head looks noticeably larger and heavier, something we've suspected ever since the first dual-lens leak appeared. Now, thanks to Igor's photos, that assumption is practically confirmed. The gimbal head looks bulkier because it's housing a dual-camera module inside, and that change alone hints at huge upgrades in image quality, stabilization, and creative shooting options. Even in quick mall walkthrough clips, you can clearly see two lenses positioned side-by-side, side, which instantly makes the Pocket 4 look more advanced than anything DJI has released in this lineup. The body itself tells a different story. While the head is bigger, the handle looks slimmer and cleaner, almost like DJI wanted to balance the design so it still feels portable and easy to use. The teaser also showed the Pocket 4 being used vertically, which strongly suggests it's optimized for TikTok, Reels, and all the vertical creators out there. With social-first content becoming so important, this could be one of the biggest selling points. There's also a fascinating moment from the testing footage where the Pocket 3 and Pocket 4 are mounted side by side on the same rig. This makes it obvious that DJI is directly comparing exposure, color science, stabilization, and rolling shutter performance. And even with early firmware, the Pocket 4 screen already looks different, brighter, cleaner contrast, and possibly showing off new color profiles. The interface also doesn't fully match DJI's usual UI, which likely means this is still a prototype build. With all these leaks hitting at once, the timeline is getting clearer too. Earlier rumors suggested a January 2026 release, but because of the upcoming FCC wireless restrictions on December 23rd, insiders now believe DJI will launch early, possibly on December 18th. Price expectations are currently sitting around $699 to $799, which feels realistic considering the major hardware jump. If all these leaks are accurate, the Osmo Pocket 4 might be the biggest upgrade the series has ever seen. A new leak has given us our best look yet at the DJI Avada 360 retail box. And unlike the mini AI-generated mock-ups floating around online, this one actually appears real. After carefully studying the image, creators and drone trackers are confident that this box design is legitimate. The text, layout, and packaging details match DJI's usual style, which is why this leak is gaining so much attention. And now everyone is waiting for the final piece of the puzzle, the official price, because that number alone might decide whether the Avada 360 becomes the next big hit or just another expensive dream. The timing also makes sense. DJI recently gained huge popularity with the Avada 2, and the company knows the demand for FPV and creative drones is growing fast. Meanwhile, Insta360 just announced its anti-gravity A1 drone on December 4th, and pre-orders are already live. With competition heating up, it feels like DJI is preparing to reveal the Avada 360 very soon. The leaked box appears to come from an Asian region. It features DJI's usual white-gray minimalist design with clean branding. Since this is the Fly More combo, the box highlights one of the biggest upgrades, three batteries included. For creators who hate constant recharging, this is a huge win. The labeling also includes multiple languages, such as traditional Chinese, hinting at a global release. What's inside the Avada 360 Fly More combo? Based on the box details and supported leaks, here's what the package likely includes. The drone is expected to feature dual 1-slash 1.3-inch sensors that capture native 8K 360-degree video at 30 frames per second. Users can switch smoothly between full 360-degree spherical views and traditional forward-facing FPV mode, something the previous Avada models couldn't do. This alone makes the Avada 360 a game-changer for creators. Goggles 3. 
The updated FPV headset supports 04 transmission with a range of up to 13 kilometers. It promises low latency video and improved comfort with adjustable diopters. RC Motion 3 controller. DJI's gesture-based controller returns, offering fun, intuitive flying, especially when paired with goggles. Three intelligent flight batteries. Each battery offers 38.67 watt hours, which is about 22% more capacity than Avada 2 batteries. This allows longer flights, more angles, and less downtime. Charging hub, spare props, and carrying case. Everything fits into a compact box about 12 by 10 by 6 inches, making it travel friendly. Price, 6,899 yen. At around $975, it feels like DJI wants to make high-end 360 FPV more reachable, and honestly, it's exciting. The Avada 360 will support multiple control setups, including flight goggles N3+, FPV controllers, and the standard RC2. The first leak of the Avada 360 appeared in May, showing a blurry prototype being tested outdoors. Even though the image was unclear, enhanced versions revealed major design changes compared to the Avada 2. The drone's body looks thinner and longer, and the top section is much lower, sitting almost level with the rotors. This is likely done to keep the drone's body from showing up in 360-degree footage. The back of the drone also seems longer to balance the new slim shape. It comes in a light gray color, similar to DJI's newer models, and overall, the design looks more like a larger version of the Neo 2 than a classic Avada. One thing the first leak did not include, however, was a top 360-degree lens, suggesting DJI was actively hiding the main feature during early testing. This became even more interesting when, on August 14th, a new competitor called the Anti-Gravity 360 drone was announced claiming to be the world's first true 360-degree drone with a launch set for January 2026. This triggered speculation across the drone community. Would DJI allow another brand to dominate a category DJI is perfectly positioned to own? About a month later, a new set of leaks made the Avada 360 even more interesting. This time, the photo showed a small bump on top of the drone which many believe could be the hidden 360-degree lens missing from the first leak. This immediately raised questions about whether DJI might release two versions of the drone, one built specifically for 360-degree filming and another focused purely on FPV flying. For the first time, DJI is merging two worlds, a full 360-degree camera system and a switchable FPV drone, all in one device. Early leaks already caused confusion. In FPV mode, the drone may deliver 5K 60 frames per second video and 30 megapixel photos, while the full 360 system could support 120 megapixel panoramic stills. To handle this heavy data, DJI is reportedly boosting internal storage to 128 gigabytes, plus micro SD support, and flight time is expected to increase slightly to about 25 minutes. The Avatar 360 isn't just about video quality, it's also packed with safety and tracking features, 